Hey everybody, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at the solo for Something by the Beatles. Now I think this is the best solo that the Beatles ever did. George Harrison's greatest solo of all time. It's just uh, really just fits the song absolutely perfectly. So let's get right into it. Um, we're going to st stick here at the 12th fret. We're going to do a hammer on from 12 to 14. Over to the G string here, 12th fret. Back down to the... 14th fret on the D. Some slight, slow, steady vibrato on that note. Alright, then we do another hammer for the next phrase. Now that's going to be a hammer from 12 to 14. Then a bend, pull it downward, the string downward on the, the G string, the 12th fret. Do two whole step bends off it. And then release that last one. And come back down to the 14th on the D. All together. So we have a hammer from 12 to 14 on both the D and the G strings. This next phrase is going to be like this. So it goes hammer from 12 to 14 on the D. Then on the G. Then pick the 12 on the G string. Slide quickly to the 15th fret on the G and then pick 13 twice, kind of staccato on the first note on the B string. Then you're going to bend up a whole step with your first finger, pre-bend, and release it back down. So that's kind of tricky. There's a lot of first finger bends in this song to really play it correctly. So we have So it's a whole step pre-bend at the 13th fret, release it, and then we're going to bend and release at the 15th fret on the B. A whole step bend. Back down to 13. And then 14 on the G. Alright, then we're going to do this phrase. Alright, so... Slide to the 14th fret on the G string and pick 13 twice on the beat. And then do the same kind of phrase but slide into the 14 on the D and pick 12 on the G twice. And resolve it down to the 7th fret on the D string. Next phrase. All right, so a lot of first finger stuff going on. So we have, then you're gonna slide here from the ninth to the seventh on the D, slide into the twelfth fret. So we have the, and then pick the eleventh on the G string twice. Kind of staccato again on the first note. Then we do a whole step, pre bend again with your first finger at the tenth fret on the B string. And you do it a couple more times. And then slide down to the 8th fret. So we got this. Then pick the 8 again. Then 9 on the, the high E. 8, slide down to 6. That is kind of a passing note there. That's why it sounds kind of out of key. And then... Slide into the 12th fret here on the, the high E, then 11 and 10. Next phrase. Alright, so we have some bends here. Now finally with our third finger, you know. Uh, it's a pre-bend. Whole step, so you got to be able to test that and practice that, play up a whole step, and then match it by just doing a pre-bend, uh, figure out where that feels like on the, with your, at the seventh fret there on the G string, pick it, so you pick it, bend and release, and bring it back up three times, or four times maybe, and pull off to the fifth fret, so we got this. 
Try to keep that nice and even, always going back up to the proper pitch. Starting at the proper pitch, and pull off to the fifth fret, and then mute it, and then do the same thing again. All right, and then the last one, you do, don't do it as quite as much. Just do it a few times, and then slide to the ninth fret, your second finger, over to the eighth fret on the B, whole step bend at the tenth fret on the high E string, then pick ten normal, and then hammer eight to ten, back down to eight, and then ten on the B string. And then that 10 is basically the beginning of that little line that opened the song. All right, and that's the end of the solo. So this is just a fantastic solo, I think, to learn and really piece together how he throws in some outside notes that are not in the key, but he uses his passing tones and just really everything just works. All right, so I will see you guys at Guitar Lessons 365. Please go to the forum, put any requests in for any songs that you would like to learn, and I'll get to work on it. All right, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.